Good evening guys and welcome back to the vlog. Before I continue I want to say congratulations to all of those who have heard back from Oxford and Cambridge. Well done on the application and if you've got an offer that's fantastic but don't get complacent. Now is the time we have to work hard to secure those A-level grades so that you guys can come around here in October. But for those of you who weren't too successful, do not worry, it's not the end of the world. When we fail, it's the best opportunity for us to learn. So take it on board as a good thing and take it on board as an opportunity for you to grow. Really think about how you can work in the future to avoid a situation such like this where you didn't get what you wanted. Anyway, it's currently 7 p.m. Term hasn't actually started fully. Lectures start tomorrow for me, but I thought I might make a, a quick evening vlog to show you guys what I get up to. I've got some chicken cooking in the slow cooker, so that should be really delicious, and I might put some rice on as well. So rice and chicken, it can't get better than that, can it? So it should be a really relaxed evening. Um, yeah, let's get to it, and let's be productive. So here, guys, I'm just looking at a few common derivatives and integrals but also a few typical sine cos tan equations just to remind myself ahead of this upcoming term um, on these topics now when trying to memorize formulas the best way i find is to just write them down and then also to see how the formula or how the individual components of the formulas all fit together i then moved on to revising a a few more transforms, so things like Laplace transforms, which we here at university have to know off by heart. Um, I think after that, I just revised a bit of metabolic science, which uh, or metabolic engineering, which is uh, all about biochemistry and the different pathways and how we can control those pathways, but also quantify the rates at which different pathways are taking place. As you guys can see, I'm using an iPad Pro 11 inch with a Apple Pencil 2. I only got this uh, two, three weeks ago, near the, end of, um, near the end of 2018, but it's been fantastic so far. But as you can see, I've switched back to paper at this point in time, just to revise a bit of theory on Laplace transforms, um, because sometimes I do like the feel of just pen and paper. I am actually releasing a video on the pens I use very soon, so do look out for that. Anyway, nearing the end of this work, and I'm going to switch to something else very soon. So, done with work for now. I need to start looking at a few lecture notes for tomorrow's lecture, but also um, a lecture that I've got next week that's going to be quite difficult. But anyway, I'm going to run downstairs and get myself a cup of tea. Now, since it is quite late, I don't want anything too caffeine, um, caffeine heavy. So I think I might go with this, uh, this really nice ginger tea I bought um, from, what is it called? I think Pukka? I'll show you guys the, it's this one, Free Ginger by Pukka. It's actually sort of, you can taste the fieriness of the ginger in this tea. It's really nice. So I suggest you guys uh, go out and try this. Um, I've also got some green tea, but then that's slightly caffeinated, so I don't want to sort of have that now because I do want to go to sleep. I've got lectures tomorrow, so I need to make sure I sleep very well today. I think after I have the tea, I might study for another hour and then time for bed. Then up and early tomorrow, go to the gym very quickly in the morning. I think it'll be quite cool to work out with you guys, uh, you know, ahead of the summer, not only to gain muscle mass, also to lose uh, a bit of this winter fat or the winter blubber, as I like to call it. Um, anyway, let's get the tea quickly and get back to work. So the first bit of work that I was doing earlier, that was more retrospective revision. So going through past lecture notes and revising things that I need to know for the exams. What I'm doing right now is something called pre-reading, which most people do at university, but I also strongly suggest everyone does a school where you look ahead at the content that will be covered in future lessons or future lectures. So the work that I'm doing right there is on mathematical physiology. So uh, in particular there, I was looking at how we can measure the potential in cells or across cell membranes and how we can again quantify these things. So it's they apply a lot of mathematical principles to physiology, which I think is very interesting, having learnt the physiology 
in a softer manner in the first two years of my medical course. Guys, done with revision for engineering. Before I sleep, I'm quickly going to do some... Um, quickly going to go through a few flashcards of German nouns on Quizlet. So yeah, let's quickly do that. Because I feel as if... Um, just need to revise those words again and again, <laughs> otherwise they're going to um, slip out of my memory. I actually haven't done these flashcards in around a week and a half now. So the last time I did them, I got nearly 100%. So we'll see how I do now. So, let's get to it. so here I've just begun to fly through a load of flashcards. Um, I strongly recommend that a lot of you out there start picking up a new language or at least continuing a language that you began studying back at GCSE. So I had done French and Spanish at GCSE, and then German I kind of knew because I was born there and I spoke it quite well until I, um, until I was around six or seven. So I'm just trying to pick this up again by learning the nouns here. Yeah, anyway guys, done with the quiz. I got, I think, 10 wrong out of 188. So um, not too many wrong, and I remember getting those <clears throat> the same ones wrong last time as well actually so I think I might have to revise uh, those mistakes tomorrow once again um, anyway I think it's best if I sleep now otherwise I'm not going to be up on time for uh, my schedule tomorrow anyway this evening has been pretty damn productive I'm quite happy um, going to quickly brush my teeth and go to sleep anyway thank you so much for watching guys as always and remember do comment down below with what sort of fitness goals you guys have for 2019 and I'll see you guys in the next video.